I did a five hours long YouTube tutorial where I created a blog using Laravel. And if you're interested in that tutorial, kindly check out the link in the description. After that tutorial, I also went ahead and promised to redo the whole project again, but this time around using Laravel and Vue.js with cookie-based authentication with the help of Laravel Sanctum. But before we start that project, let's see how the end product looks like. So this is the SPA and this is the home page. So if I scroll down, we have latest blog posts and we are fetching all these from the database. If I click on a title, it will take me to that single blog post. And if you check at the top, we are fetching it using the slug, which we are going to implement without using any package. Then when you scroll down, we have related blog posts. And when you click on any, it's also dynamic. That's it for the homepage. Let's go to the blog page. So this is where we are displaying all the blog posts. And when you scroll at the bottom, we have pagina working pagination. So if you go to page two, it goes to another page. And now the next button is disabled because we don't have any more blog posts. I can click previous and it will go to page one. Then I can also search for blog posts. So if I come here and say national, I get blog posts where the word national is present in the title or the body. So in this case, we can see it's present in the title. Here it's not in the title, meaning it should be in the body. So if I click here and try to look for the national in the body, we can see that the word is present. So let me go back to blog. And if you try to search for something that doesn't exist, it's not present in the title or the body, you get this message, sorry, no match was found. You can as well search for blog posts using the category. So if I click on sports, it should give me all the blog posts associated with that category. Nature, the same thing. Entertainment, the same thing. Uh, all, let's go to all. Yes, and we have all the blog posts. And that's it. And if there is anything I've forgotten, uh, we'll cover it during the tutorial. So I'll go to the about page. And this is just a static page with HTML and CSS, nothing more. The contact page, I haven't implemented this and I don't intend to do so because I've already implemented it using Laravel and you are going to do a lot of Laravel and Vue.js. So I decided to leave this as a challenge so that at least you can try to do something on your own. But in case you get stuck, kindly reach out. I'll be glad to help. So now let's switch to register. So here, if you try to sign up without providing anything, we have these um, validation errors, which are coming straight from Laravel backend. Let's go ahead and register. I'll change the password to something that I can remember when logging in. So sign up and we are redirected to the dashboard. And notice here, register and login is no longer visible because we are logged in. So I'll log out. And again, we don't have dashboard and we have register and login. I'll log in. If you try to log in without providing anything, again, we have the validation errors. So I'll log in. Then I'm being redirected to the dashboard. So here I can come and create categories. So I can say new category. First of all, let's see if we have validation. Yes, we have validation. So new category. And we see a flash message here, which disappears after two and a half seconds. When we go to category list, we have that category. We can edit it as well. So I can say updated. And then we have the flash message. And if we check the category list we have, it's updated now. I can as well delete it and that's it for the categories. So let's go to the posts. Yeah, post list, not post list, create post. Then here, if you try to submit without providing anything, again, we have the validation errors. Let's say, let's create a post. So let's say a new post. Let's choose a file. Then you have a preview of the image that you want to upload. Then you can select the category of your preference. Let me go with the uh, help. 
then here we will say the notice here it's saying category id field is required we will customize this at least to say the category is required instead of category id i think that's a bit confusing then the body you can say body of my post that's it then submit then post created successfully let's check the post list and there we go we have our post and notice again i only have one post and this is the post that i created i cannot see the posts of uh of i cannot see the, i cannot see the post created by other users so meaning i cannot edit or delete so here i can edit my post you can say updated update the image as well something else there we go then let me submit and there we go actually let's see in the front end if it's displayed as well so if you come here and go to the blog post yes you can see it's created new post updated go to the body 55 seconds ago and we see body of my first post so i'll come here i'll delete it for now uh, before deleting let me show you another thing so when you edit just in case you don't want to change the image you can just leave it say again then submit then if you come and edit again you see the image has not changed and that's it for the post so uh, i think that's all and log out yeah so see you in the next video where we will learn to set up laravel and vjs cheers